Wat hy, elke terug my vaars prijs, rechtstreek hier so van hotspot af, na die veilings vind morgen om 11 uur plaas, ek wil net vir jou herinner, dat die veiling het een 30 dag versekering, saam met King Prijs, Tom Piet Mooi gereel, soos jy koop, wees een 30 dag gaan die staan, en hulle gaan verseker wees, hulle gaan gekyk wees, so jy hoef nie te bekommer nie, jou belegging is veilig, maar ek staan hier so met een man uit oos Londen uit, een kies, en ons gaan bykie praat oor die draadmaster, so dames het eerst, en bykie wil moor wat hy denk, so luister saam. Kief, goed moe, ah, goed afternoon, how are you doing? Kines, I'm very well, thanks man, how are you doing? I'm great, thanks. Uh, Kief, you, 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 you're known for being a Boron man, but you've recently gone over, to, well not gone over, but joined the Droughtmaster uh, group. Just a quick overview, why did you decide to go that route with the Droughtmasters as well? Tennis, I've actually been asked that question quite a lot. <laughs> um, sometimes it is difficult uh, to answer. Um, basically, our situation is pretty pretty simple. We're looking to move uh, most of our commercial cattle um, from, from being commercial to stud cattle. And uh, we feel that our area, um, the drought mass is exceptionally a, a good animal for that area. And there's definitely a market for them down there. Um, there's obviously a lot of the traits that we like and what we've seen in the drought masters and something that we would like to you know, be involved in. Um, so from that perspective, I think the breed has a lot to offer and we're very excited about being involved in the drought master breed and, and, and the future that it has in, um, in South Africa. Okay. Um, we're standing at the hotspot auction. Uh, Stomp is known for being a good cattleman. cattleman. Um, he's been with the drought masters for a while now. Um, he's definitely, from as what I'm seeing, it's improving here on here. Um, when you look at the females, what is your, your when you've got that first feeling when you look at yeah. it, what, what's, your, what's your first uh, impressions? Tina, uh, 100% right. Uh, Stompy is an exceptional stockman. He's got fantastic cattle and um, certainly what I've seen here, the consistency um, throughout the female group uh, is exceptional. Um, certainly a lot of animals that um, that uh, everybody can can consider. Some exceptionally good young heifers um, and obviously as well some proven cows. So I think overall, again, the consistency is very, very good. Um, the quality of the cattle exceptional. Um, and I think a big congratulations is in order to, to Stompy and the Hotspot team for offering such a, such a great um, group of females. Mm. Uh, Keith, one of the first things that, that, I, that I said when I first saw the drought master that impressed me was the females. Um, for me, they're just exceptional. That's what's caught my eye. I haven't, I haven't seen a bull before I saw the drought master females. And just the way they, they appear from, 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 you look at their heads all the way down, you look at the others. It's just, it's just something exceptional for me. And, and sure. I think for me, that may, from the drought master point of view, that must be, Something that stands out for everyone. How do you feel about that sort of? Well, that's very much similar to what the first experience that I had when uh, when visiting uh, Johan Danhaus. It was um, the, the the overall consistency of um, of the drought master. The fact that you know in 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 a group, a large group of animals mixed in with beef masters, you could actually pick out the drought masters. They have a little bit more ear, smoother coats, and and the fact that they are consistent across um, across the board is is something which stuck out to me. Um, yes, very, very good mothers, very good udders and, and good teats as well, which is obviously something that we look, look at when, when, when selecting. Um, but overall, in general, the, the bulls and the cows, they have exceptionally good length. Um, you know, their capacity is there and their cow and calf ratio, their weaning ratio is, um, is exceptionally good. And albeit we're only very small and, and, and new into the drought masses, we're experiencing that firsthand. Um, and, uh, very, very excited, and like I say, very happy with our results so far. But um, so far, everything's gone well, and um, and 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 the females, I think, have got um, have got a lot to to offer, both stud and the commercial um, breeders across us, across South Africa. Um, so quickly before before I let you go, if um, at, if you if you've known Stompy now for a few years uh, from from the Buran side yes. and now to the Outmaster side. Um, if you look at the bulls that stand here, um, I think something that stood out for me is the consistency throughout. Um, sure. I think for me that came a, came a long way. Is there anything else that stood out for you when you look at these bulls that you think, yes, this is, I like this one a lot? Um, I must admit, a couple of years ago, um, when I came to visit here and, and, and seen drought master bulls for the first time, obviously I've been, been down from the east and then, uh, the size and the frame was, was made a concern. But I can say for sure, looking through some of the bulls here, that I'm I'm very pleased that the, there's there's a lot more of a medium framed animal, um, a lot definitely a, lo a lot of consistency, strong um, strong in the heads, um, and also very good bone structure sort of throughout. So I think um, I think from that perspective as well, 
um, a nice consistent group of bulls. And um, yeah, again, congratulations to Storm P for, for offering a, um, a great string of bulls this year. Yeah, I think um, the most important thing, or one of the, uh, we've spoken many times about it, is the, um, what do you call it, the Erftwong. I don't know. Consistency you, you get um, on, on the drought master um, throughout uh, from animal to animal. Mm. Um, and it, and that must be important when you bring animals here. When you when you look at the way people breed, that you want that carrying forward. You Absolutely. don't want starting um, smarty packs, and no, for that sure. sort of stuff. And sure. it seems like everyone in the breed, including Stompy, maybe as one of the guys in the front running at the moment, mm. has been doing it and they're doing it well. Absolutely, I think that's that's seriously important. Um, you know, consistency, no matter what you're doing in life, I think is is, <laughs> is important, and we're all trying to achieve that. So, um, you know, to see that. To see that here, obviously that stems from good stockmanship, uh, good genetics, um, as well as obviously a little bit of knowledge on the on uh, on the breed and uh, what's working. And I think also breeding to a plan. And I think you can see that that's definitely being implemented here um, at Hotspot Cattle. Yeah, Keith, thank you very much. And, uh, uh, and your pleasure, Tennis. Hopefully the next time I talk to you, you're having a drought master auction <laughs> down in the East London. It'll be a while, but hopefully <laughs> we'll get there. Okay. Good luck and talk to you soon. Thanks, Tennis. Okay, right, you know, it's a Kief, he's a very bad back out, and I can tell you, I think Kief, he's still not speaking up, he's still not going to come with these dieren, and he's like, good, and he's in form, and yeah, this is my drought, he's standing there, and he's waiting out in our land, and I think the drought water, as a tailor's genootskap, and as a, as a ras can trots, he's all very well come, and yeah, he's standing for no other ras, and he's going to come with the next time, until then.